Hi, this is David Waller. I'm the founder and CEO of Storeboard.com. Many people ask me, how do social networks make money? Uh, and I thought about it, how I would explain it, and I've tried to explain it to people, but I think the best way to explain it to people is to show you how Facebook makes money. Because Twitter and um, Google work in a very similar way, but I'm most familiar with Facebook's uh, way of charging, so I thought I'd demonstrate it to you, and I thought you might find it interesting. So first I'm going to log in to my Facebook account, and then I'm going to show you the, um, the advertising panel and what advertisers work with. So first of all, we're going to come over here, and we're going to see Manage Ads. Okay, so basically what you come to is how to create an ad, how much they cost, and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an ad for Storeboard. And I think by seeing how this is done, you're going to understand how Facebook, Twitter, and Google earn money on advertising. So most people think of advertising as ads, um, like TV commercials or print ads. And it's very similar on the website, except they tend to be a little bit more subtle. They're either on the board as articles, or they are on the right-hand side. And typically, um, it's a combination of how often people see the ads and how many times they click on them, or one or the other. So first what we're going to do is we're going to do, we can choose here what kind of an ad we want. So Facebook gives us these choices, a page post engagement, create ads that boost your posts and increase likes, comments, shares, video plays, and photo views. We can try to increase likes to a particular page. We can try to create ads to encourage people to visit the website, create ads to promote specific actions on the website. We could try to create ad apps that, ads, excuse me, that encourage people to install your app create ads to get you more activity on your app, create ads to promote your event, or promote, or create ads to promote offers. So you see all those different options. We're going to go with clicks to a website. Let's say you wanted to try to advertise on website to, uh, on Facebook. So we're going to go, let's just see, we're going to go to Storeboard. We're going to try to promote Storeboard on Facebook. So they keep creating new technology to make it easier to place ads and better ads. So right now you'll see that it's loading website details. Again, we could have made all these other choices, but we've just chosen to try to advertise our website on Facebook and get clicks to it. So we're just waiting here, and Facebook is analyzing uh, Storeboard. Let's make sure that we put it in in a way that the formal way. Hold on. So we're going to go here. All right. So now the um, we can use different images. Okay. So we're going to figure out an image we have to use. Uh, we can use up to six different ones. So let's see. So we're going to upload an image. Let's find my storeboard, uh, storeboard logo. Hopefully that won't take too long. Okay, here we go. So now we have a logo. I'm not sure what this is. I'm going to take that out. But we have a storeboard logo. And we can also browse a library or um, use professional images. So let's look in the library. That's going to that's gonna look in our own images. So maybe we're going to try this one. Okay. So now we have, did we do that? Let's see. Okay, we're going to try to, no, that's browse images. So we're going to look in our own images. We're choosing this one. And should I put done? Okay, so now we have two images. I'm just trying to demonstrate this because I think it's kind of cool. Now we're going to find images and we're going to put in a search word. Why don't we put storeboard.com and see if there's some images in Shutterstock. This is powered by Shutterstock. And we can see basically if there's any images of storeboard.com in Shutterstock. It's looking and looking and looking. 
There's many in Google Images, but perhaps it's having a hard time finding them. Let's see. Let's see if we change it to storyboard, if it will make a difference now. So we're going to find an image that maybe says um, increase traffic, right? Storyboard helps you increase traffic to your web pages. Let's see if there's something along those lines on Shutterstock. It looks like there is. All right. Let's see what we'll do here. If there's any great images. Mm -hmm. This one looks a little silly, but anyway, uh, let's see. Okay, so I don't really, I'll just choose one of them for the sake of it. <laughs> What's the best one? We'll try this man pulling up an arrow, okay? Let's see what happens here. All right, okay, I get the picture. Now we have three images. So st Facebook will uh, apparently rotate them or try to determine which is the most effective one. Next, what we're going to do is um, we're going to choose a Facebook page. So this was not working too well a while ago. They didn't load all your pages, but this one looks okay. So I have storyboard. Um, what is it saying here? Create okay unsupported previews not available for Facebook link destinations all right let's see what happens now now we're gonna come down here and we're gonna choose the location as Facebook has over a billion users from all over the world so what you can do is you can decide I wanna place my ad to people in whatever country Egypt France Switzerland or United States so here you can add a country Let's say we put France, all of France, all of the United States. You could delete one of them. Then you can choose the age of the users that you want to see it. So let's say we're going to show it to 16 years old and up. We can enter a language. We only want English, which is okay. Even if it's targeting France, it'll find people on the system that are from France that speak, speak English. We're going to say uh, interest. We're going to put internet and maybe internet marketing. Now, Facebook knows a lot about its users. That's where there's a lot of discussion about privacy and so forth. So this this is where it all comes to play, is that um, Facebook has this information on everybody, and this allows them to target your ads or target your website or your Facebook page, all the things we went over in the beginning. Let's put business networking. See how it's helping me to choose other topics and the more topics I choose the broader the audience becomes it's telling me right here what's the potential reach of my ad let's see so let's see it's 7.8 million now if we take out France let's see how many people it reduces by so it's recalculating it's still 7.8 maybe because many of the French people uh, didn't meet that criteria especially as speaking English let's see if we add a country we add United Kingdom how does that affect our potential audience for our ad 8.6 people 8.6 million people so it added 800,000 people to the equation okay um, we can add English UK also right and let's see if that increases it okay so it increased by 200,000 so now we're targeting people that like business networking internet marketing small business social media marketing and this allows more categories so we could build we could target mobile device owners we could um, target people around an event let's say the Olympics if we wanted to have an Olympic ad you know post your Olympic story on storyboard perhaps we would key into that or if we had an if I had a section or an article or, or that we were trying to promote on storyboard regarding Xbox we could target here okay so we're gonna put all smartphone tablet owners mobile device owners and featured phone owners okay so now we've created our audience we created images for our ad and we know that we're trying to push people to storeboard.com so now we're gonna create an ad budget so we're gonna say and this is great because it gives people a lot of control over how much they want to spend. When you place an ad in the newspaper, 
you're going to have a fixed price. It's going to run and you're going to owe the money. But here, you can choose what your budget is. You can put a total budget, for example, if I just want to spend $10 in full, and or I could put a per day budget, and then I can stop and start at any time. And this is bidding for clicks. This means that I'm, going to, I'm after people to click and actually go to my website. So by having all these members and having the information in their profiles, they, can, they, they were able to create this system whereby ads could be targeted to the appropriate uh, people. So now I need to put a headline, so I'll put drive more traffic. And here you have limits in terms of um, in terms of words and stuff so forth. So let's see, we have um, in increase. Actually, I'll just use one that I've used before, looking for a traffic dram. Let's see if it works. Okay, it has just the number of of letters. Now we'll we're gonna write here drive traffic to your let's fix the spelling here. We'll leave it like that for now. Okay. And we're going to turn off the news feed ads because, let's see, your ads will not show. Okay. So now drive traffic to your website and let's see if we're all done here. It's the potential audience is 8.2 million people. The budget's $10. We're now going to place the order. And first, we could actually review the order we should have done. So this tells us that our ad name is storeboard.com, website clicks, people who live in UK and, U and United States at $10 per day. We're going to place the order. Okay, so that's how Facebook makes money. Uh, LinkedIn is similar, although they also charge license fees to human resources firms to better access their database of, of various executives. And Twitter works in a very similar fashion to Facebook, um, as well as Google AdSense. I hope this has been informative and given you some insight as to how social networks charge advertisers and how they make money, as well as, obviously, you got some good insight to Facebook's uh, advertising panel. Thank you, and hope everyone has a great day. And please check out storeboard.com.